Nationals take the opener of this four-game set against the Phillies. Michael A. Taylor keeping his team on top in the seventh inning, robbing Andres Blanco of that home run. Michael, you made that play look really easy, getting back to the wall and leaping to make that catch, but I, I know it's not. What's the most challenging part of that play for you? I think just knowing where the wall is right there, you know, I, I tried to uh, do my best to get back there as fast as I could so I wasn't rushing. Uh, just get my space and give myself enough room to jump. A couple times I've jumped and hit the wall a little too soon, so I tried to uh, just make sure I knew where the wall was right there. You told me recently that the toughest part of your transition from shortstop to the outfield was getting comfortable moving back towards the wall. How have you gone about trying to get comfortable doing that over the last few years? Uh, running into it a couple times. <laughs> That's, uh, you know, the, the walls beat me up a couple times, so just uh, using my, my teammates out there, they help me out, let me know how much room I have getting a feel for the field and the warning track and things like that. You were trying to get your offensive timing after coming back off the DL, and it seems like you've done a really nice job staying with your approach of late. What's been the key for you in your cage work and your pregame work to try and lock it in offensively? I think using the other, the other uh, field, hitting the ball to right field, is huge for me. You know, a lot of times I want to get quick and pull the ball, so just stay on the ball, let it get deep. Magic number down to five. You feel it getting close? Yeah, it's nice. Congrats, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Bob, back upstairs to you.